Hey y'all, welcome back to Summertime Tarot. If you're new to the channel, my name is Summer and this is a mid-month check-in for May for Virgo. All right. Now, Virgo. Right, the image that I got made me think that you may be very detached, right? I think the best way to say it would be like you may be very detached from uh, your life. Or even the people around you. And I almost kind of get the vibe that you may be kind of looking on and like disagreement or disappointment with how things are um, happening around you. I feel like in the world, in your community, um, with, with, you know, the people closest to you. But at the same time, right? No shade. I don't feel like you are doing anything about it. right and that could be because you're trying to figure out like what you can do what you should do but i kind of get like a dark gloomy feeling so you may be like experiencing you know like the blues like a little bit sad or disappointed or just discouraged in some way um but let's go ahead and see here so as a reminder, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, be sure to check out the readings for your moon and your rising sign. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, be sure to be sure to check the description box below for the link to summertimetarot.com to book that. Alright, but let's see here. So bottom of the deck here we have help appears in various ways it says there is much support for you sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually all right so we have here disengage from outcomes let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to okay then we have in the light of the moon a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting this can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty then we have um, where you need to be acknowledge how you are feeling have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved right yeah there's like a lot of blue here like i was saying here um yeah so especially with the in the light of the full moon right well in the light of the moon i feel like this may just be like an emotional time for you and some things that you may have had like expectations for maybe didn't pan out the way that you expected them to um some of you could have been looking to move or to make a a change in your life and you may be feeling almost like you're going in circles, like things aren't um, turning out the way that you that you want. Where I feel like here with the where you need to be, it's kind of um, a need to kind of shift your perspective, to see like the bigger picture, and to not focus so so much on. Um, your expectations or even like your feels that you that you forget that you know you're you are where you need to be at this current time all right you may even have like a lot of pressure to like excel for like your family or your community or just like feeling a lot of pressure to to maybe stand out or to to help others but this may be making you a bit um 
right spiky this is <laughs> i don't know what word to use other than spiky like you may have um right and i say spiky because this looks a little spiky to me um it just may be making you a bit hmm what's the word i'm looking for um The only word that's coming to me is antagonistic. And I say that because you may, like, be holding on to a, a good deal of anger or, or depression. Not depression. But maybe depression. Hey. Um, anger or, like, resentment about having to do certain things or be a certain way or to have a certain role. And I feel like that's something that may be showing up for you at this current time. As you kind of, I feel like you may be trying to move into a new space in your life. A new a new role in your life or a new cycle in your life. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead. Get some more cards out here. See what's going on. Virgo. I get the feeling you may be afraid of disappointing the people around you. Bottom of the deck, we have death. So, yeah. Like I was saying, you may be trying to, you know, transition to move into, like, a new a new cycle in your life. A new phase in your life. But you may be feeling like people or the world kind of is like working against you. Like so you may be very on edge. That's why I feel like I said, you know, like antagonistic. Um, but yeah, I feel like there may be a good deal of pressure for you to to excel or to succeed to to improve to grow to to move forward in some way shape or form um but you may be like you know like tossing and turning um feeling like you're doing a lot but getting nowhere that kind of feeling almost very like hopeless here with the star in reverse yeah Feeling like the world is not your or oyster, right? Some of you may be feeling that way. Right? It makes me think, you know, the phrase, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Right? But I feel like you may be holding on to a good deal of, like, aggression or anger, frustration about your current situation. Which is making it hard for you to move forward, right? Because you're kind of stuck in these, in these feels. In this kind of gloomy energy. And although you may feel like you're doing a lot, although you feel like you may be giving a lot, I feel like it may be coming from a, a space of lack. Or anger or resentment. And it's kind of time to shift your, your own energy, right? You may be focusing a lot of your energy on the external, on people, on your environment, on things. But you may not be taking the necessary 
actions or time for yourself to kind of like improve and work on yourself to do the the the, the dirty work so to speak um to to face this disappointment to face these this anger this aggression these feelings that kind of keep you stuck in one cycle or another right because with the world showing up right it's like there is the opportunity to move forward into a new cycle but I feel like you may be holding yourself back um be it because of your mentality your energy your what it is that you're giving to certain people or situations right it may be coming from not the best space and it's time for you to really pay attention to your own I feel like your internal dialogues <laughs> your like intentions that you're putting out to the universe to the world you feel what I'm saying um, but let's go ahead and clarify here so let's look at the star in reverse let's look at the star in reverse yeah and you may just have like a lot of um expectations for people you may hold people to a very high standard and then like you may be disappointed when they don't show up for you and it's really time for you to just start focusing on showing up for yourself in in the ways that you need to show up for you yeah got the moon we got um clarifying the star we oh my goodness <laughs> we had the star in reverse then the star in reverse came out again okay uh, we have Justice, the Moon, Knight of Pentacles, the Star in Reverse, and the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, some of you may not be kind of speaking on like what it is that's affecting you here, right? With the moon in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of like sadness, but also like um, disillusionment, right? Where you may not be certain of what it is you want to do or where it is you're going or what it is you should do, um, but you may be ha like having a hard time of, of admitting that to other people or even admitting that to yourself, right? I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles showing up, especially with justice, like you, you may like, like I was saying, you may hold other people to a very high standard, but I feel like you may hold yourself also to a very high standard. And because of that, you may have like a lot of perfectionism um, and you don't allow yourself to kind of mess up, but that kind of keeps you in this kind of ever perpetuating cycle of kind of disappointment like disappointing yourself because you feel like you haven't done enough or like you you can never reach the the goal or the status that you hope for um and I feel like you may have a hard time of seeing how you yourself and what you your, what you may be doing how it may be keeping you um where you are right and I'm not coming at nobody it's just like you you may be focusing a lot of your attention on like I was saying, the external, other people, your environment, like your current situation, but you may not be spending enough time of 
um, looking inward, of seeing like where you may be going wrong, um, what you may be doing that's kind of keeping you where you are. Okay, but let's clarify this Seven of Wands in reverse. Like you may be rushing here. And certain things. Well, also, I feel like there may even be like a um, I feel like there's a need for you to slow down here. Yeah. Like, I feel like you have a go-getter a go mentality, but at the same time, you may... Um, bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. Um, you may kind of... <laughs> wow, okay. Um, in doing so, like, you may... You may have, like, a... Habit of, like, burning bridges or, like... Moving so quickly that you like that you cut corners, or um, you look for the quickest route, or you look for the whatever it may be. But it's like you, you're trying to get there so quickly that you may not be thinking as quickly as you're moving. Does that make sense? I think it does <laughs> um but also like you may you may have a hard time of like trusting people connecting with people asking for help um because you may feel like okay you know like you may be repeating certain um misfortunes or or um certain things that you didn't like the way that they turned out you may be repeating those same cycles because you're not taking the time to um learn from your mistakes does that make sense right and again i'm not coming at you here I'm not coming at you whatsoever it's just what the cards are saying okay but let's clarify this queen of pentacles and then we're going to clarify the world yeah i feel like this is kind of going back to what i was saying about like needing to do the dirty work and i feel like the dirty work is not what you think it may be yeah yeah i feel like the dirty work is has to do with your own kind of healing Yeah, so we have clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Yeah, but also like tending to your emotions. Because um, I feel like your emotions may get you in trouble here. Like you may try to avoid them, but they come up um, in how you react to certain things and, and, and what you do or don't do. You feel what I'm saying? And that's kind of like I was saying, that is like keeping you in this same cycle, keeping you where you are as you try to progress and move forward. So it's kind of time for you to um, spend time like really like healing, healing yourself, working on like paying attention to your emotions, um, validating your emotions, expressing your emotions right doing all of that stuff so they're they're not like showing up in negative ways or affecting you negatively right but let's clarify the world yeah i feel like there's a big 
thing of not trusting people. You may be very stubborn here with the King of Pentacles, right? Very hard on people, and I feel like it's because you were hurt in the past. But the thing is, when like like not trusting other people is like a sign that you don't trust yourself, right? And in order to really trust other people you have to trust yourself you have to trust yourself to be able to um, make those hard decisions to um, move past certain things to gain the knowledge that you needed to from certain experiences right so that you don't continue to repeat cycles right or to repeat lessons because I feel like with the world showing up here especially with the four pentacles as it is and the and the star in reverse right unfortunately you may be currently like experiencing um a repeat so to speak you may be re-experiencing something from the past because you you didn't kind of stop and like gain the knowledge and wisdom from the experience that you needed to in order to move forward into a new cycle in your life so because of that it's like you're kind of being forced to sit down right where you need to be to sit down with yourself with your emotions um and pay attention to like what's coming up for you emotionally but also like what's going on around you within your environment so that you can really um come to terms with this lesson fully completely so you can move forward you feel what i'm saying all right bottom of the deck three of swords right so i feel like this this may have been a painful lesson but in order to prevent yourself from having to repeat it like it's important that you like sit down and really um listen to what does this say um a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting right this can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty like it's time for you to really kind of sit down and listen to what is being revealed to you through your emotions through your um interactions with other people and to learn from it so that you can move forward right right and to and to kind of let go of that kind of stubborn know it all i have it all figured out it's everybody else that's wrong kind of vibe right hey that's where i get from from this here okay just to be honest not coming at you at all this is a safe space <laughs> but let's go ahead and um let's see what's the message here for virgo I saw 2255 just now that's a new one <laughs> but let's see what's the message here for virgo then we're going to just pull some final cards oracle for advice and guidance to close this out. All right. Got a lot of cards here, but I'll take them. Okay. So we have two of cups, the world showing up again, five of pentacles, strength, four of cups, Death, Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, Judgment. Alright, bottom of the deck here, we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so some of you here, there could have been um, some some endings when it comes to certain relationships in your life, right? Um, could have been romantic, could have been platonic, whatever it is, right? But I feel like it may have left you feeling like defeated and lonely here. Um, but as I was saying, like it's important that you like face your feelings to pay attention to what it is that you're feeling so that you can gain the wisdom from it and, to, and move forward in the best way for you, right? 
that's what for you. It's going to be different for everybody. Right? Yeah. And it's, like, important, I feel, that you don't spend time kind of f- trying to force yourself past these feelings. Um, there could be remorse. There could be regret. There could be loneliness um, for some of you here um, due to these changes that you are experiencing currently in your life. Right? I feel like something here that you wanted or that you were hoping for didn't pl- that didn't plan out the way that you expected to. Right? Like I was saying earlier. But it's like... Um, with this four of cups here, what's it say? Um, rejection is the Lord's blessing. You feel what I'm saying? It's time for you. I feel to kind of look at it that way and to stop kind of, um, seeing it as a loss or seeing it as something that, hmm. May have just been completely negative right yeah because i feel like with this judgment here this is an opportunity for you to kind of break free of a certain cycle as i was saying right um but in order to do so you're going to have to like i was saying gain the lesson right and i feel like the lesson is like with this five of pentacles you may be feeling like you are you are lacking something because a certain thing a certain relationship or certain experience or situation didn't turn out the way that you expected or wanted it to and you may be having a hard time emotionally moving past it and it's time for you to like really just ex- accept those feelings right but not to accept the 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 thought or the belief that you yourself are lacking right but to move past that right and just because you put on like a brave face and you act like oh i'm not hurt i'm fine right this didn't mean nothing da 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 da, da don't mean that you're not hurting or that um, you're not feeling this kind of lack. So, right, don't pretend, right? You can pretend with other people, to, but don't pretend with yourself, right? Because I feel like here with these cards showing up the way that they do, you are, in fact, hurting in some way, right? You may have kind of numbed it out or, like, pushed it to the back burner, but it's present. And in order to completely release it and move forward, you're going to have to look at it for what it is so that you can actually move forward without repeating this same cycle. You feel what I'm saying? It's, like, time for you to kind of learn your own value and your own strength right without like needing another person or um a win in some way to make you feel that way because i feel like what's continuing here and this is running a bit long but i'm gonna continue (laughs) what's continuing here this cycle that's continuing is you may move from person to person or or job to job or situation to situation because you're looking for that feeling of being of value and it's time for you to stop looking externally for um that connection that feeling of being worthy right because you can't find that outside of yourself you have to find it within right and until you do you're going to continue to repeat this pattern of meeting people or starting a project or doing this and doing that it not working out the way that you expected it to and then it leaving you in this space of feeling less than so it's time for you to really face that feeling of being of being unworthy so that it doesn't continue to creep up and like pop up in your life whenever it wants right and this may be something that you know is lifelong or you have to deal with every once in a while but that's okay okay as long as you admit it to yourself as long as you look at it and you don't allow it to kind of run you down or rule your life 
okay and i feel like it's important that i say you kind of focusing on um other people or you know things that are happening in the world isn't going to stop these feelings from being there right so don't spend a lot of time like on social media or doing this that and the third to avoid your feelings right because they're gonna they're gonna come back up they're gonna show themselves because you you have to face yourself right you're the only person that you really have to ever face okay because you can't run from yourself all right but that was a bit long-winded so let's see here what oracle cards want to come out for you see what we got here we got live your joy thank you angels for supporting me as i follow my joy then we have spiritual support dear angels i allow you to support me as i grow to become more spiritually aware and trustworthy friends thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love yes right i feel like for some of you you may be so afraid of like being hurt that you may like i was saying like you may burn bridges or you may um just connect with people who just don't value you right and it's time for you to kind of face that and to to let go of that fear of being hurt again right But with this spiritual support, right, it's like needing to trust, like for those of you, right, who I feel, like I feel like this is for everyone, but like for those of you who may be going through a transition um, when it comes to like your your overall kind of life and, and not just when it comes to your relationships, it's like a need to kind of really allow yourself to be supported right don't feel like you have to do this all by yourself but like you have you know you have a team and if you don't feel like you have a physical team right surrounding you in the physical world you do have a spiritual team that you can rely on and that you can trust in right but it's like a need to kind of actually be open to that support and that help and to really moving forward towards the things that it is that you desire and want in life without this kind of fear of being hurt this fear of it kind of biting you in the butt you know right because i feel like you want connection you want to connect with people places and things that are good for you but your fear of being hurt is kind of closing you off from those people closing you off from those opportunities it's making you hard well it's making it hard for you to really experience all that you desire to experience because you're kind of like a i hate to say it right oh my gosh i hope i'm not offending anyone but you like it's like you may be like a like a rabbit dog like oh my gosh that was a horrible thing to say but like i and i mean no 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 harm right but like you may be so afraid of being hurt that you may be very much aggressive to the point where like you know like i was saying you may burn bridges you may like really keep people at a distance you may have a hard time trusting people opening up to people or even kind of trusting yourself to 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 make moves or to take risks um and to move towards the things that you want and desire and that's kind of it's keeping you stuck in a in in not the best space in in a space that you don't want to be in so it's kind of time for you to to really focus on your healing right letting go of this burden these emotions that may still be plaguing you from the past 
and to open up to new experiences and to new connections, to new people, to new opportunities and realities. But first you have to actually believe that it's possible, right? If you look at the card, you know what I'm saying? It's like you have to actually envision it. You have to see it as a reality before it can really come in and manifest in the physical world. But if you're constantly stuck in a space of, oh, that'll never happen or people only hurt me or you know I never get what I want or you know everything just just gets worse and worse and worse right that you're manifesting that into your life so it's like time for you to really kind of call in your spiritual team to call in the things that it is that you desire and really believe that is possible for yourself and to step out on that faith and move towards those things okay but woo, that's all I have for you Virgo hopefully this helped you in some way Hopefully I did not offend you because I did not mean to, but I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, be sure to check out the description box below for the link to book that. All right, but peace out.